Hello and welcome to a video update of the CTR Booster. So in this video, I'm going to be making notes of some new updates that we've made to the software to make it work and look even more natural. Okay, so these were actually some suggestions that were suggested by our users um, and they were really good suggestions so we've got them implemented down here. So the very first one was every time the software went over to Bing or it went over to Google or it went over to Yahoo, um, then it wasn't actually coming from any site. Um, so it wasn't showing any referrer, Google didn't know where it was coming from, so it could act as a potential footprint. Now, of course, I do try my best to make notes in the video tutorials um, so that, you know what, all of your visits aren't, you're not relying on all your visits from the CTR booster. Uh, you want to mix and match those visits and the CTR booster with your natural visits. So then it's never gonna be leaving a footprint anyway. Um, but anyway, um, it was a really good suggestion. So what we've done is we've added in a new file that's inside of the app folder. Um, and you can add sites to this. It's called startsites.txt. And as you can see inside of here at the moment, we have Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram. So what the software will do is before it goes over to Google, Yahoo, or Bing, it will firstly load one of these URLs and then go over to Google, Yahoo and Bing. And obviously you can add your own URLs in here. So it makes it much more natural, much more random. And depending on what URLs you guys are having and adding, um, then you know what, it makes your version very unique to, to you as well. Okay, um, another update that we've added down here as well, guys, is um, when the software works with mobile user agents or desktop user agents, um, we actually now change the browser size and dimensions and the viewport of the browser um, to match the user agent that we're working with. So let's have a look at mobile search, for example, here, um, and we'll be able to see two things. We're looking to see the viewport and the size of the browser is changing with the user agent now, and we're also looking to see if the website or the search starts off um, on one of these sites that we add down here. Okay, so I'm gonna click on start and I'll give you a couple of examples down here. So as you can see straight away, we're using a much smaller screen size down here, guys. Um, now we're using viewports of the actual um, user agents that we're working with. So as you can see, this might look like it's cutting out a little bit, guys, um, but this is the um, actual styling of the Chrome browser, but the actual viewport that we're sending um, is the viewport of the actual user agent that we're using. Okay, so I'm gonna click on stop down here really quick um, and let this stop its um, um, action down there. And I'm gonna click on start again. Um, and we're gonna see that the browser size and the dimensions actually changes now, again, depending on what user or user agent that the software is actually using. So as you can see, it's a much different size browser now. It started off, um, well, it's installing the WebRTC, and now it's going over to Instagram. The last time it went over to Tumblr, um, this time it went over to Instagram before it went over to Bing. Okay, so I'm gonna click on stop here. Um, Yes, okay, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you some desktop ones down here as well. Um, so again, depending on what user agents the software is gonna be using, is gonna be depending on what the size of the browser and the dimensions that you're gonna be seeing now. Okay, so let's just, you'll be able to see the start of one of the starting sites as well. So this time it's gone over to Instagram. I'm gonna click on stop, and what I'll do, I'll click on start one more time, uh, just to show you that we've got multiple dimensions. Well, this actually looks very similar to the last one. Um, so we've got all sorts of screen resolutions and dimensions in here for desktop devices, um, and the same same is true uh, for mobile user agents as well. Uh, we actually worked from a website to make sure that we can match the actual user agents uh, to the actual um, dimensions of the screen as well, guys. Um, so this makes everything look much more natural. Um, it gives it a much better feel as well, guys. Um, and it allows you guys to see what's actually going on um, and how the CTR booster makes it look like, you know what, it's using multiple devices and multiple IPs, multiple proxies, multiple actions, and everything is so much more random now. Um, so anyway, um, one of the updates that I didn't make notes of in the last video, guys, or in the last updated video, was this section here, Max Internal Links. So at the moment, the software, or before the software was only doing one internal link, our users wanted the ability to be able to randomly go and click multiple URLs, internal URLs. So what you can do now is you can actually have this set on, let's just say, for example, Max Internal Links is, let's just say, for example, 10. Now, I don't think you guys are going to be doing like 10. Um, 
but the software, what we'll do then, it'll go, it'll choose between one to 10 um, URLs to click internally. But just remember on each internal page, it's gonna have that duration that you're having down here. So your visits might be much, much longer. Um, I normally use this, I normally leave this between one to four, sorry, on four. So it's gonna be clicking between one and four internal links. Um, so anyway, I really hope you enjoy working with this um, system. Um, we have got some other updates that we're working on as well, guys, as um, for example, we're gonna have the ability to have another checkbox where you're gonna be able to randomly um, have the software work with desktop user agents and mobile user agents as opposed to um, having to have two different projects. Um, so anyway, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video and we're gonna hopefully be releasing this um, update um, this week.